I had no idea until I actually went to Brussels in 2001 that I would be the first woman ambassador from any member state of the Union. And this struck me as extraordinary. Well, there are always challenges, and they're the same for women everywhere. When I was ambassador to the UN in New York, we created uh, a group there for women diplomats to interface with senior women in the United Nations and elsewhere. And the commonality of experience was just amazing, given the different cultures and different geographical backgrounds. I think women almost everywhere, everywhere probably, they have the same challenges about uh, having the confidence, uh, trying to operate in environments that are predominantly male. It's just so interesting to hear women uh, talk about these challenges that uh, they've experienced. If you want to make a difference, you have to get into the arena. And the way you make a difference is through either public service or political life, or indeed there are other channels open to people, but they've been maybe more traditional channels for women. You go into community service, you're an activist at grassroots level, through NGOs and so on. All of that, I have the utmost admiration for it. But I don't think women need to be encouraged to engage in that because traditionally that has been an area where women have seen a role for themselves. Uh, so the real um, challenge I think is um, senior levels of public service and particularly uh, the levers of political power because if we don't go out there um, and put our hands on those levers of power if you want to make a difference you can't sit home and dream about it you've just got to go out there and get into the arena